It's time for the Round Ball Roundup Camden and Laker Basketball Show from the Funky Buffalo. And now your hosts, William Holtz and Ron Dugan. It's the Round Ball Roundup, and I'm William Holtz, your host. This week's show brought to you by Chances Our Restaurant and Lounge in Lorry, Missouri, a West Side tradition since 1989. And the women's team are rolling. We'll have two Camden Lakers lady players right here on set for this show. We'll also have owner of Chances Our Restaurant and Lounge, Diane Holtz, on set. We'll have that and much, much more here from the Funky Buffalo on this week's edition of the Round Ball Roundup. Camden Laker fans, want to catch the latest highlights, updates, and analysis on your Lakers men's and women's basketball teams? You want to watch exclusive coaches and player interviews? Then tune in to Lake TV and join me and Ron Dugan for the Round Ball Roundup every day at 12.30 and 6 p.m. for an action-packed 30 minutes of nothing but Lakers basketball. And if you can't catch the show on TV, just email me at the email address on your screen with a subject line of Round Ball Roundup email list, and I'll personally email you the newest episode every Thursday afternoon. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company is home to the Round Ball Roundup Camdenton Lakers basketball show. And it's home to the lake's best coffee, scones, and handcrafted sandwiches. Come see what all the talk is about and enjoy the beautiful tucked away in the woods setting. While deciding from our irresistible lineup of drinks and treats, you'll also notice some of the most breathtaking art from local artists plastered all over our walls. The Funky Buffalo Brew House and Trading Company, taking pride in being much more than your normal coffee shop. Welcome back to Round Ball Roundup. I'm William Holtz, flying solo today, and now we're going to touch on the men's team. Darren O'Quinn, head coach, got a talk with him earlier today, and Tuesday night traveled down to Marshfield and just couldn't get the job done. You know, last week we talked about the big win in Eldon, and they even the record at 2-2. Two and two. Well, since then, they fell Friday night against Elias in a game where Elias pulled away late. They lost by 10 points, and then they repeated that task Tuesday night, losing at Marshfield by 10 as well. You know, coach said there were some impressive spurts of play for the guy squad. They did end up falling by 10, like I said, and it was really a slow start. They fell behind big time early in the game, and he said they were sluggish early, couldn't get anything going. However, pulled close, couldn't stay with Marshfield, and ended up losing what Coach said was the downfall to this team and to this game the other night on Tuesday was the size disadvantage for Camdenton. They ended up falling, and he said, you know, we had a little more size. It might have been a different story. Leading the way for the Lakers, Kemp, he had 14 points. Dylan Decker added 12. All of those in the second half took Dylan a little bit of time to get going. He did finish in double figures, but not until third and fourth quarter did he start to pour on his scoring. And then Braden DeMarc also had 12. So another plus for the men's team. They had three players score 12-plus points, and that balanced attack, we've touched on it before, one thing you really, really like, we just hope that that size disadvantage doesn't continue to haunt the Lakers. So they're 2-4 and four now on the season, and they'll look Friday Friday night, the 18th of December, they travel to Osage to play the 3-3 three and three Indians. That'll be a good one, so don't miss that. This is going to wrap up our men's segment on the show. We'll be right back on the Round Ball Roundup to talk about the women's side. Chances are Restaurant and Lounge in Lori is a hometown favorite and has been since 1989. With generous portions, favorable pricing, and a familiar staff that treats you like family, going to Chances Are is a no-brainer. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Come in on the weekends for the prime rib and all-you-can-eat shrimp. And on Saturday night, year-round, they feature live music with some of the area's hottest bands. And if you stay out too late on the weekend and need that late breakfast fix the next morning, come enjoy our all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet until noon on Saturdays and one on Sundays. Off Highway 5 in Lori, come find out what makes us so special and... If you're here once... Chances are we'll be back! Lake TV and LakeExpo.com are bringing the community closer together with the Lake of the Ozarks news update. Keeping you up to date on recent developments and upcoming events. Watch it every weekday on Lake TV or on the web at MyLakeTV.com. Back here on the Round Ball Roundup, I'm William Holtz once again, and it's time to talk about the women's side of the Lakers program this year, and they are on fire. Have not played since we were on set last week for the last week's show, but still 4-1, and one, and we've got Alyssa Ripley and Kendall Spragans here today in the studio on set. We'll talk with them here next during our player spotlight. You don't want to miss that. Two very interesting, talented young women with big, big dreams and ambitions, so we'll introduce you to them about the women's team now. You know, Ron and I talked on it last year. Four and one on the season after that rough start. And, you know, this team could really, really go far into the state playoffs. How far? 
We don't have a gauge of that yet, but with a game Thursday night at Battle and then the pink and white tournament down in Springfield at Drury, that's an awesome tournament. Coach Caffey Wednesday was at the seeding meeting and the women's ended up getting the seventh seed in the tournament. So over, over the break, you'll get an opportunity if you can go down to Springfield to catch that from Drury. First, you got Columbia Battle Thursday night, the 17th, to worry about there in Columbia. But as far as a team this year, the, the team is shooting 53% from the field, and that's an outstanding number as far as field goal percentage. One thing you'd like to see them improve on only shooting 25% from beyond the arc, and that's a number that's going to have to improve. And you don't really have to improve that drastically, but you maybe have to limit the amount of shots you take from outside if you're not hitting. You've seen this team hit some perimeter jump shots from inside the arc from 15 to 17 foot, and you'd like to see them do that and then work that offense, that give and go that's been so successful up to this point in time. And I talked to Coach Caffey earlier today, and she said, you know, we are out-rebounding our opponents, and we're turning them over. And then we're taking advantage of those turnovers, and we're turning those turnovers then into points. And that's what's really allowed us to be successful, and we hope that continues for the ladies. As far as leading the way stat-wise, Bailey Resback, she's averaging 16 points, 4 assists, and 3 points a game thus far. And then Alyssa Ripley, we'll talk with her in just a minute. She has 11 points, 7 rebounds, and 2 thefts per game. Just an impressive stat line through 5 games. And then not going to show up as much in the score column, but Miss Kendall Spragans, just outstanding overall piece of the puzzle for Coach Caffey. She may not score the most, but I'll tell you what, when she does, it's a big basket. And she is one of, if not the most selfless players you're going to see in the Ozark Conference all season long because she gives up a lot of ample scoring opportunities to give her teammates better looks. And that's why you love a kid like Kendall Spragans. Team first, team success, way before my success. And I think you'll get an opportunity to see what kind of young woman I'm talking about when we bring her on set here in just a minute. But as it stands, 4-1, and one, the Thursday night they're going to go to Columbia Battle. If you can make the trip to support Coach Caffey and those girls, do so because they need all the help they can get on the road. That Columbia Battle should be a tough team, but I've got all the faith in the world they can go down there and get that W. And then, of course, the pink and white tournament. So the 4-1 and one women's team on the road for the rest of the way before they start the second half, hopefully getting a few Ws. That's going to wrap up our women's segment here on the Round Ball Roundup. But you got to come back. Don't go anywhere because after this break, we're going to be joined by Alyssa Ripley for our first of two play your spotlights after this. Lake area, you ask for more sports and Lake TV is delivering. Whether it's Mizzou Network segments, live sporting Kansas City soccer, live Missouri State Bears basketball, live high school football, and even exclusive sports features and interviews, Lake TV Sports is gearing up to bring you more sports than ever. For all the latest with us on sports, follow Lake TV Sports on Twitter at Twitter handle Lake TV Sports. Holly Lift Boat Lifts. Your boat is a major investment. Make sure it sits on a poly lift. When you need a boat lift to raise your boat out of the water, choose the one voted best boat lift at the lake. Choose Poly Lift. Any size, built with the best quality construction, a lifetime warranty on the tanks, and the service to stand behind it. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build poly lifts. Back here on the Round Ball Roundup, this is our player spotlight. We have two for you, double dose. Joined now by Alyssa Ripley. Alyssa, what's going on? Nothing much. I got out of school, so that's good. So you're, you're happy with this. So you have a nickname I should call you, or does Alyssa work? Um, my teammates call me Rip, but you don't have to call me that. Alyssa will be just fine. All right, Rip. On the set, she's ready to rock and roll. So, four and one. You girls are off to a really, really good start. Yes. Riding a four-game winning streak, but let's not talk about basketball. Let's talk about Rip. What, what drives you? Give me a 45-second to a minute synopsis of who you are. What drives me? Um, I've learned a lot about work ethic from my family. Work ethic, just hard work day in and day out, never giving up. And I think that's what drives my basketball and just my daily life. Where do you work or do you not? I work. I worked at Big Surf this summer, but it's more of just like perseverance, perseverance, and being resilient, just in my values and my morals and my everyday life. Awesome. And very, on the court, of course. Very cool. On the court, she averages 11.7 rebounds on this season, and she is putting up big numbers in a couple of games this season that we've been at. So, talk. I want to go to the Skyline game. I said we're going to talk basketball, but 
That was a game that went back and forth. They got up on you girls mm -hmm. early, and then you girls really went on an impressive streak. Talk a, bit, a little bit about that game from your perspective. Uh, that game was awesome. I had a lot of fun during that game. We did get down, and it was close. Every game with them is a fight, but you know we know each other, and we stayed tough and fought the good fight. We fought the good fight. She's out of control. So you had 22 <laughs> points. Was that a career high for you? No, it was not. What's your career high? I think it was 26 last season against Rolla. I can assure you in my entire basketball career, <laughs> I didn't combine to score 26 points. So that's impressive stuff. So I have asked everyone we brought on for our player spotlight some questions. And we're going to get a little more time with you, so I'm going to get to ask you more questions. But we're going to knock the ones I've asked them out of the way. Favorite food? I have a top four, actually. It's mac and cheese, cookie, or chocolate chip cookies, and uh, shoot, what's my, what's my other? pancakes, and biscuits and gravy and hash browns. That's five, but we're going to okay, let you. <laughs> biscuits and gravy and hash browns are one, because they always go together. That's, that's Can't true. Can't eat one without the other. That's true. I mean, if, if I were to eat hash browns and not have biscuits and gravy, I, I wouldn't know what to Lost. do. Lost, yeah. Exactly. Uh -huh. So give me your favorite actor and movie. Go. Ooh, that's a really hard one. Oh, my gosh. Give me another question. Okay. <laughs> okay, go. that's okay. After high school plans, you know where you're going to go to school? I'm going to the University of Missouri to study English. Why English? I love to write and read. You love to write mm -hmm. and read. Very good. Do you have a, a favorite book or a favorite author? Um, my favorite book is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. Never and read it. Talk about it, what it's about. It's interesting. It's about this house that, like, it stays the same size on the outside, but on the inside, it, like, changes, and then it's weird. It's really good. It's Have you seen odd. American Horror Story? I watch that show religiously. I, I'm not a big TV show guy, <laughs> but I will admit, on the way back from Florida, mm -hmm. I started watching that on yes, Netflix, and yes. it did not take me long to it's get addicted one. to it. Right. Okay, so you're going to University of Missouri, mm -hmm. and uh, are you, you're going to play ball there or probably not? I'm not. Okay, no. so what are your hobbies? What will keep you busy outside <laughs> of studying? Uh, reading, writing, um, just hanging out, watching Netflix. Marathons are always... Netflix yeah. and chill. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not chill. Just Netflix. Just Netflix. She doesn't chill. So she's, she's clearly out of control. We're going to call you Rip for many reasons. Okay. You're a wild one. Have you always gone to school here in Camden? I have, yes, all 13 years. All 13 years. And talk a little bit about your family. My family, I have a wonderful mother and father and a little sister named Kylie, and she's really wild. She's really wild. <laughs> we know where she gets it. How about any pets? I have one dog named Zion. He has short little legs. What He's kind a of little dog? dachshund mix. Uh -huh. Very cool. So professional sports teams, favorites? Um, I'm not a big fan of professional sports. Get out. I'm sorry, I'm just the kidding. NFL puts me to sleep and the NBA players are all, it's, it's gotten worse as the years have gone on. As in? I wish I had been around when, you know, the greats were there. Kareem, Magic, Michael. Well, Kobe's still play. playing, but you kind probably of. didn't get to see him in his, yeah, kind of, good call. <laughs> didn't get to see him in his glory years. Yeah. He was probably close to, if not equally as fun to watch I bet, as Michael. I bet. But anyway, so we do have three minutes left. I want to know about the favorite actor in favorite movie since you made me skip that. Okay, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I remembered. Go. Um, the Breakfast Club and Donnie Darko are my favorite movies. But favorite actor, that's really hard. <sighs> Give me three. I suddenly have forgotten all actors that I even know. <laughs> can you um, name an actor? Yes. Yes, I can. <sighs> Matt Damon's a good one. Um, Dylan O'Brien on Teen Wolf is always a favorite. Uh, we'll stick with that. Okay. Can't say English. Favorite subject currently in school? Anatomy and physiology. Why? Because I love learning about the body. It's been a favorite of mine since I was young. I used to want to be an OBGYN as a five-year-old. And you're no longer young? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, to me, you're young. 17, 18? 18. 18. 18 years old, you're gonna, you're senior now, you're gonna be going to University of Missouri, and are you nervous, excited for the college experience, or what are your expectations? Right now, I'm feeling very excited, but also very nostalgic. Mm -hmm. The nervousness hasn't really set in, because none of the hard stuff has been here yet, filling out forms and stuff. 
can tell she's an English major. She's got an expanded vocabulary. <laughs> Nostalgic. Don't hear many kids your age using that word. That's a great word. It's a fantastic word. We use a lot of crazy words that I get in trouble for. Andy, my camera guy here, he has got a very expanded vocabulary as well. So we have word contest sometimes. Right, Andy? Uh, so going to University of Missouri, let's get back to basketball. I've got 90 seconds left. You guys are 4-1. and one. Yes. First district championship in school history, yeah. or actually in 30 years last year. So expectations are high. You yes. start with a loss to Republic. Now four, four wins in a row, big game Thursday night against battle mm -hmm. and then you have the pink and white tournament which is always fun at drury yes it is. what are your true expectations for the rest of the year oh i think we just gotta play like we've been playing uh minus the first game and just keep battling keep fighting playing as a team and we'll i think we'll knock out quite a few wins yeah number number Ooh. hopefully eighteen twenty. that's my goal can this team can Repeat as district champion. Yes. And take the next step. That's the hope. That's the dream. That's the hope. That's the dream. Most likely, if you guys get to where you want to be, mm -hmm. you're going to see this Republic team again that, you know, with all due respect, they really did wipe you girls off the court in the opener. You think you're going to be ready to play them again? I think we are. I think they made us better, and we're ready to get them again. Yeah, I think it's important to play those teams early. Talk with Coach. Kathy about you know getting engaged and how good are we yep. what do we need to work on and you girls saw early on in the season there were things you need to work on and it looks like you fixed yeah. those with that four game winning streak well not that there aren't more <laughs> well <laughs> Alyssa Shipley Alyssa Shipley Ripley Ripley Rip 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 my man my man I'm in trouble now and I <laughs> I butchered her name. We went eight <laughs> minutes and I didn't I didn't do it then right before. So Alyssa Ripley, aka Rip, join us for our player spotlight. Good luck the rest Thank of the way. You. Thanks for joining us and Merry Thank Christmas. You. Merry Christmas to you as well. Camden Laker fans, want to catch the latest highlights, updates, and analysis on your Lakers men's and women's basketball teams? You want to watch exclusive coaches and player interviews? Then tune in to Lake TV and join me and Ron Dugan for the Round Ball Roundup every day at 12.30 and 6 p.m. for an action-packed 30 minutes of nothing but Lakers basketball. And if you can't catch the show on TV, just email me at the email address on your screen with a subject line of Round Ball Roundup email list, and I'll personally email you the newest episode every Thursday afternoon. Back here on the Round Ball Roundup, it's our Player Spotlight segment, our second time around. Kendall Spragans on set. Joining us, Kendall, what's happening? Nothing much. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm much better than I deserve. You girls are definitely uh, interesting, to say the least. We're having a good time here at the Funky Buffalo for our Round Ball Roundup. Shipley, for those of you that don't know, Alyssa <laughs> Ripley, a.k.a. Rip. We're going to call her Shipley from now on because uh, the Ripley throws me off for reasons we won't dig into. So, Kendall, I want to talk about your knee. You had an injury your freshman year, and you wear a brace now. So touch on that a little bit about the injury and why you wore the brace. Right. So freshman year, I tore my ACL and my MCL. We were playing Kickapoo. And so ever since then, I went through surgery, and I was about, out for about um, eight to nine months. And I came back my sophomore year, and I was ready. And they obviously, when you, you, like, you have surgery like that, you have to wear a brace just to protect it. And um, I actually don't really need to wear the brace anymore, but it's just kind of a security thing. Um, my um, scar tissue still kind of pops, and it's a frightening thing. So um, it's just nice to have that security and know that your knee's not going to go anywhere. Yeah, for those of you that have never had a serious injury, like that, it's kind of like you said, security, maybe a peace of mind. Yeah, definitely. You'll never really be the same and be able to plant on your knee because in basketball, mm -hmm. there's so much stop on a dime, left to right movement. And even when you come down and rebound, you know, the potential of hyperextending it. And so obviously the brace gives you that peace of mind. And I can attest it's scary after a knee injury yeah. coming back and trying to play full force. So you are a senior this year. Mm -hmm. What are your plans after you graduate from Camerton? I'm going to the University of Missouri, and I'm going to major. I'm going to double major in um, religious studies and some other form of humanities, and then I'm going to minor in business. Fantastic. So you're following Alyssa, or is Alyssa following you? Um, I think Alyssa's following me. <laughs> no, not really. We kind of both decided together. Very cool. It's exciting. You girls have been playing together for quite some time. Yeah, we've been best friends since second grade. That's awesome. Very, very cool. So talk a little bit about playing for Coach Caffey. Obviously, you played for her as her fourth year. Mm -hmm. So she, she's been there your whole high school career. Yeah. Talk about the chemistry this group of girls has developed, you know, being together and then just playing for her in general. Definitely. So um, I guess all of us seniors have been playing together for a long, long time. And we've all been great friends for 10 plus years. Um, 
and just the new girls um, like Tegan and Blair, we're just really close with them and all the girls in general. We just have a really tight bond and um, it's really awesome to play together. We just get each other, we get where we're going and um, we can just like kind of time out each other's moves and things like that. And Coach Kathy's awesome and she's like just done awesome by us and we're really lucky to have her. Yeah, she has some impressive accolades herself, you yeah, know, at does. Evangel, yeah. four-time volleyball and basketball All-American, and those are quite prestigious awards to win one time, let alone four years running. Yeah, she's cool. So four and one now on the season. You you get to play Thursday night at Battle. Should be a tough contest, and then prepare for for the pink and white tournament down there in Jury, mm -hmm. in Springfield. Um, what are your expectations for not just at Battle, but then that pink and white tournament? Um, I think if we just keep playing like how we're playing that we're going to just turn out some wins and that's, I just want to win. So and I want us to play together and play well. And, um, I think we can do it. I'm, I'm excited. So you got to sit in and you heard Rip talk about her expectations with the season that, you know, you think you guys can, you girls can repeat and win the district title again, but then it's about taking that next step. How far can this team go into the state playoffs? I think we can, I think we can win it all. I really do. That's our dream, and that's what we're striving for. And I think if we we put our heads heads to it, then we're gonna get it. It's awesome. So state title is within yeah. within grasp. Yeah, I think so. All right. So you heard it right here on the round ball roundup. Kendall expects or thinks this team can win a state title, and you certainly love the confidence. We talked about swag factor last week, and you girls have a little bit of that swag factor <laughs> on the court, getting to watch you play. Um, so forget about basketball for a minute. You know, we got to ask some questions to Rip a little bit ago. I want to know, without hesitation and without a, a ten-minute break, <laughs> favorite actor, favorite movie. Okay, I think my favorite movie would be either Perks of Being a Wallflower or I just watched Notting Hill, and I love that movie. So, Perks of Being a Wallflower and Notting Hill. Okay, actor, favorite actor, actress. Okay, um, Julia Roberts, and I like Hugh Grant, and those are the only two I can think of right now. Fantastic. So, in your spare time, do you watch a lot of TV? Um, I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of Netflix. I'm a binge show watcher. Top top two or three shows. Go ahead. Okay. New Girl, One Tree Hill, and I'm kind of on the an office flow right now. Yeah, Michael Scott. Oh my God. Dunder Mifflin. Yes, he's so funny. He is funny. Of course, Dwight is something else too. <laughs> he's a weirdo. <laughs> Okay, well, a lot of people tell me that remind me of Dwight, so I'm offended, Kendall. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> no, I'm not. It is a good show. It's one of my favorites. So you're going to go to Missouri. You're, you and Ripley, are, are you guys going to room together? Um, no, because I'm going to room with my twin, but um, we are going to live in the same hall. So. Very cool. So you, you want to major in religious studies. Touch on that a little bit. What would be a dream career for you in maybe 5, 10, 15 years down the road? What, what do you see yourself doing? I definitely, I really want to go into nonprofits. Um, maybe be a director of one of those, or just be involved in them. That's really what I want to do with my life. Hopefully, something that involves, um, I want to be involved with the church, or um, something that has to do with my faith and um, how I can get back to my community and things like that. Mm, touch on, uh, firm believer myself. Talk about your faith a little bit. You don't get a lot of opportunity to talk about that in school, or, or maybe with your team. So, I'll give you an opportunity to talk, talk about that. Um, well, I love Jesus, and um, He's my Lord and Savior, and I want to live my life for Him, and um, that I feel like that's what I'm called to do. And um, I'm super excited just to um, have Him work through me, and just for me to be His vessel. And um, that's awesome. I just it's exciting. excited. Yeah, that's that's super. That's an exciting thing. That's a great, great answer. Um, Kendall, back to basketball a little bit. You know, we got about a minute left here, and we're going to wrap up talking about, you know, you think you guys can win a state title, but if you don't, you know, people talk about in life, you learn lessons through sports and, and with being disciplined. What have you learned from playing with the Camden Lakers women's program, practicing day in and day out, and then maybe even your guys' travel routine? Touch on that. That's a good question. Um, I think we've just learned the just the importance of hard work and determination and friendship. I mean, I played with my best friends and it's been the best times of my life. And just Coach Caffey pushes us to go beyond what we ever thought we could. And that's just given us a lot of drive and a lot of heart. And I think um, if you have heart, then you're gonna succeed in life, so. Fantastic, good answer, good answer. So about 30 seconds left, tell us your favorite food and you don't get to pick five. Pancakes, pancakes. You are my favorite food ever. So you you and Rip could do a number at the IHOP, all you could eat. Pancakes? Oh uh, yeah, we could do some damage. 
Awesome. Well, Kendall, hey, I, I certainly appreciate you coming on. We are looking very forward to following this team the rest of the year, and I don't see any reason why you girls can't accomplish that, you know, with the hard work you're putting in and the skill set you put on the court. So uh, this has been Alyssa Ripley and Kendall Spragans joining us for our player spotlights. We'll be right back to wrap up on the Round Ball Roundup after this. It's time to accelerate. What's Accelerate, you ask? Oh, just the hottest new magazine to hit the lake area, covering high school sports in Eldon, Osage, Versailles, Camden, and Lebanon, also covering health, wellness, fitness, and nutrition. With four seasonal issues every year, pick up the most recent issue at most local retailers or at all covered schools to get expert insight, pictures, feature articles, and much more. Also, download the Accelerate app on your smartphone to get up-to-the-minute scores. So if life is slowing you down, don't live another minute without your copy of Accelerate. Back here on the Round Ball Roundup is our sponsor spotlight segment, and we are joined by the owner of Chances Are Restaurant and Lounge in Lori, who just happens to be my mother, Diane Holtz. Mom, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Glad to be here. Super glad that you guys decided to sponsor the Round Ball Roundup this week, and uh, exciting time for Chances Are. we got some good things going on and some remodeling in the back. Talk about that just a little bit. Just some updating, some stuff that needed to be done, some tile replacement, some shelving replacement with some stainless steel shelving, you know, some things that have needed to be done that you can only do when the place is closed down. So that's what we're going to do over Christmas. And you guys giving the employees off some substantial time over Christmas break, a few days just shutting the whole operation down? Yes, we are. What days? Um, the 21st through the 26th. We'll reopen at 6 a.m. on the day after Christmas. Oh, awesome. So five days, all the employees get to enjoy Christmas. Important to us as a family. Obviously, we know the importance of family and, and the holiday, especially this time of year, to get off and enjoy that. So that goes a lot with people, you know, in the community, knowing that you guys don't just drive it home as slave drivers keep the employees <laughs> there. Okay, so talk about a little bit, just touch on some of the things you guys got coming up for 2016, and then uh, after you touch on that, we'll talk about the weekly specials. 2016, we, you know, we have entertainment every Saturday night. Mm -hmm. We have, um, every Friday we do beer battered haddock. Um, every Friday and Saturday we do our slow roasted prime rib. Um, during the winter we only have our buffet, breakfast buffet on um, Sunday, but then back um, after Easter we will be doing it on Saturday and Sunday mornings. Um, and I will say about the prime rib on Friday and Saturday night, you need to get there before 7.30 or 8 because typically it sells out if you don't get there before the first or second dinner wave. So don't wait around and be a late <laughs> night guy. Get in there early enough to get the prime rib. And uh, if you don't know, Chances Are Restaurant Lounge has been around since 1989. And you and Dad bought it in? Um, 2007. And it's been all that you wanted and then some, right? Oh, absolutely. Very good. And uh, you had mentioned before we came on, that you saw that the Lady Lakers playing really well. My older sister, their daughter, played basketball in Eldon, and so they have a special interest, and she goes, man, four and one, they're playing well, and you were impressed with the Lakers of what you've seen? So far, yeah. I so, watched the round up, the round ball roundup last week and heard that they were doing quite well. Okay, well, we're out of time. That is uh, <laughs> Diane Holtz, owner of Chances Are Restaurant <laughs> Lounge, the sponsor of today's show. Chances Are Restaurant Lounge, a West Side tradition since 1989 off Highway 5. And Lori, go check them out. Mom, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. We'll be right back on the Round Ball Roundup after this. Chances Are Restaurant and Lounge and Lori is a hometown favorite and has been since 1989. With generous portions, favorable pricing, and a familiar staff that treats you like family, going to Chances Are is a no-brainer. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. Come in on the weekends for the prime rib and all-you-can-eat shrimp. And on Saturday night, year-round, they feature live music with some of the area's hottest bands. And if you stay out too late on the weekend and need that late breakfast fix the next morning, come enjoy our all-you-can-eat breakfast buffet until noon on Saturdays and one on Sundays. Off Highway 5 in Lori, come find out what makes us so special and... If you're here once, Chances are we'll be back! And that's going to do it for this week's edition of the Round Ball Roundup. We'd certainly like to thank Chances Are Restaurant and Lounge in Lori for being this week's sponsor. A West Side tradition since 1989. Make sure you stop by and see the crew there. We certainly appreciate their support. And then also the Funky Buffalo, Ron and Nicole. They're an ever-so-gracious host 
as always. Ron will be back with us next week for our show. And Polylift, Mike and Mark Mawson with Polylift Boat Lifts here at Lake of the Ozarks. One of those two will join us here on set. They do so much for the community. In the meantime, folks, go support your men, men's and women's basketball team because they can certainly use your support in the stands this week. And we'll be back next week to talk about how the week went. And in the meantime, enjoy your week, folks. We'll see you next time. Lake TV Sports thanks you for watching this edition of Round Ball Roundup from the Funky Buffalo. Watch for a brand new edition next Thursday at 1230 on the Lake TV Network.